This conference will now be recorded. So this is the data page which I have and here you go. I'm going to run this data page and this data page before I run. I will show you there is a parameter. OK, customer ID actions and then run. You provide the customer ID cust 001 which we already have in our table and then run it. So it will be successfully returning the result. Suppose if I provide any customer ID which does not exist there and it is returning an error message. There is an exception that has happened. I wanted to handle this situation in order to log this data into the log files at runtime by handling the exceptions. OK, for that, what do you need to do is you have to go ahead and let me show you in the private editor. Let's save as into latest version. GIC 003. It is there in this particular context. Save and here you go. See here. Um, it is going to look up in the response data transform. I wanted to call this particular data transform. So this data transform PX error handling template. It is final. So I cannot use it directly. So what am I going to do is I'm going to save as into my application with the name PX error handling template one. That's it. It's a change in name means you are creating a new one. I think it, this is also already there. Oh, reserve one. Oh, PX you should not use. I'm sorry. You should not be using PX. It's not about one. Because PX, PY, PZ are reserved keywords and create and open. And now this is the these are the details. The main step you can see here. The, the disabled step you can see. See here. Get page message is there means what is the error message that is there on the data page and clear messages. You can clear any further messages. You don't want it to be there. You can clear it and PX add message to the page and log message. These are the two important things. See PX add message to the page and you can write some sample message here or you can you may include some properties or something. OK, but one thing here is. PX add message to the page is a function. It is not only for a data page on any page. You wanted to write some message by yourself. You can use this and look at here PX log message means you are going to provide the message what you have written message param dot add message right that you can provide here. OK, so like this you can go ahead and edit all of these simply you can even uh, for now you wanted to do more you can do it. You can enable this particular step and what is the message you wanted to write simply you can write any message that's up to you as of now just for testing. Written by me let's say simply I am writing this has been written by me and then I am going to check in. So if you want to message the complete if you want to get the complete details also you can do it but that's OK for now and here the response data transform I can go ahead and see. Error handling template one OK and then save it. See if any exception ha happens this particular data transform is going to get executed. There are other ways also apart from response data transform. You can also do it in the post load processing but it is OK. OK, run the strong data transform another. I need to choose this option. I'm sorry. And then you check in this if you run now definitely the log message should happen because we are calling this particular error message here. OK, and the when rule also you can add here. I wanted to add when rule simply. I don't want it to go ahead and run this always. I wanted to see when rule before this. You already know about when rule calling right when what is the when rule name? This is the one rule. When PX data page has errors. Okay, like this you can do. I mean, like you, you should have done this step inside, then it will work. Okay. But anyhow, I don't need to bother about it for now. It is simply you know how to call when rules and all. Now I can go ahead and run this data page. Some message, some uh, this one. So there is an exception happened. Let's go to the log files. Configure. OK, I'll trace it once to see the response data transform is getting traced or not. Settings data transforms I wanted to select. I don't want to go ahead with activities. I want to make sure that only my application rule sets are selected, not everything else because I don't want to trace too many things here. 
Okay, and I'm going to run this. And here, oh, it is not tracing one. I don't know. It should trace actually. Data pages, I think I have to select or what? They can make it default when based on where we are opening it from usually. See here, uh, this is the data page execution. Why data transform is not getting traced? Okay, let me verify once the log files, then I can come to a conclusion whether it is running or not. Configure system operations and logs, log files, pega logs you have to get into because we did not write any alerts and all, just pega logs, alert logs you need not to bother about. It is not writing that. Control F. Sorry. Writing. Just hold on. Came to Pegalox only, right? Not a lot. Pegalox. Pegalox. I think previously I went into somewhere else or what? But here also, I don't see it. It should be there. Just uh, hold on. Error handling data transform. And simply I'm I'm setting pa oh okay I'm sorry I'm only setting I'm not writing mm. param dot log message but this should add message to page clear message get page message. Get all messages with the primary page. I'm hard coding. There's no way that it should be missing. Param dot log message. This is equal to log message method which we have used in the activity. It should have to write whatever that we pass. Just I'm testing whether it is writing or not, but hold on. Let me trace it once again and with settings. Data transforms I have chosen, exception okay, and data pages. I will go with interaction as well. And our application rule sets are fair enough. As of now, save OK, minimize and enter something which is not there, run it. Why data transform is running, right? Yeah, now you can see when we select uh, that interaction and all, see the log message. What is the log message value? Get message, send message, add message, log message equal to true. Means that is been executed. Let me cross verify once again now. I'm not missing anything as far as I know. This is alert. This is Pegalox. Yeah, now you were seeing. What was the reason? Previously, I don't see it. Okay, hold on. Now you see that it has been written, but did I make any changes except uh, maybe 
I, I after I select this, I did not check out and save or what. I did not make any changes here. And moreover, on the data page also, I did not make any changes. Maybe this option I'm missing or not. I'm not sure. I don't remember. OK, anyhow, you can write the log messages like this by using. And by using data transform error handling template. So this is the key point here. See, if you want to write your own messages into the log files, just go to BX log message function. BX log message here you can see the message that you wanted to forward see the message can be hard coded or the message can be a parameter value look at here uh, there is parameter dot get message right I am going to check out this I am going to enable this step as well enable param dot get message and I will for I will pass here the param dot get message save this okay now whatever the message that is there on the data page that should be passed here and that should be processed into the log files this time i did not trace or what okay log files and if you go to the pega logs now it should have the log message pega logs it should have the log message written which is a error message exact no records found for the lookup written by keys customer id is equal to something and apart from this you want to have additional message also to be added you can add anything like this it's not only hard coded message it can be the actual message that has been delivered by pega and also you can add little more for this parameter you can add more information on it as per your business need while you are designing and you can pass it see doing like this these files are permanently available on the server so user is going to work on uh, creating the transactions suppose let's say at 12 o'clock in the afternoon there is a failure for the user user has reported it to the customers customer care and by the time you get the ticket it was let's say 4 pm in the evening at 4 pm how do you know what is the error message that has happened by going to the log files and you search for the time interval and all so now here if i further wanted to add the details of the user who is doing the transaction you should be able to say this someone please respond and tell me in the message this param dot message is there right get message so for this i wanted to additionally set okay hold on i wanted to additionally set apart from the regular message i wanted to additionally add okay plus the operator id who executed it and also the time interval when it has been executed plus um, maybe some other details like this can you tell me how to do that? Operator ID dot uh, user identifier. Operator ID dot user identifier. user identifier. See now when user reports at 12 o'clock, they are definitely the user will provide the ID that they have used. So now you can go to log files and copy paste that operator ID. Sorry, find that uh, sorry do a control f to find by operator id so what is the uh, last i mean like the oldest time interval where you find this operator id from there you come down you will find out somewhere the issue which is happening so like that you can log operator id plus additionally what you want current date and time how do you get current date time how do you get current date and time px create date time px create date time and work object create date time you know the current date time i'm asking about current date time on the server yeah In the i'm asking about current date time on the server px create date sorry px uh, px 
get date stamp get date time stamp like this yes. we have functions available you can add those okay so wherever you are using just simply i directly executed data transform and shown you it might be part of the drop down populating or it might be part of somewhere else anywhere wherever using maybe you are calling this database and database is invoking the connect rest wherever you are doing this you can do exception handling like this so saving as this data transform and adding more information whatever you want and pass that into the add log message is going to log the data into log files okay like this whether it is connector or whether it is ui or whether it is anywhere this is a common practice of copying the data transform for logging and adding it to respective data page or maybe even in that it's also you can call it okay so this is how you can do exception handling by writing into the log files in order to hide the actual error messages to the business users and give a facility to the support employees in order to find out the issue easily okay so we will continue tomorrow to look into uh, about uh, uh, resume preparation and interview sessions and project explanation all that we will continue tomorrow so all of you just do follow this video and do this practical by yourself after following the video and after this is done queue processor also you do it okay even in the queue processor activity also if there is some failure and you wanted to log the messages into log files then you can call this data transform in the queue processor related activity and you can do exception handling there also so it's not one place wherever you wanted to do the exception handling this data transform can be used not only for connectors okay